So today we're taking a look at G-Minutes. G-Minutes is your one-stop meeting minutes management solution web application that can be accessed via the browser on your computer or that of your mobile device. So this is an all-in-one meeting management tool. Now what this allows you to do is it allows you to keep all of your uh, scheduled meetings, you can reset reminders, you can have them rescheduled, write minutes, action items, all of that in one convenient place. Now what this allows you to do, allows you to store your reports, calendars, everything in one easy to access area this way you can save time which in the business ultimately saves you money no more having to you know worry about tracking this and that separately on a separate calendar or a separate system it's all under g minutes that said this makes it much more easier for users to be invited into meetings to track specific action items or tasks and attendances and reports all of that again because it's all under one system so taking a look through it here you can see this is the dashboard after you sign up and register for an account you have your options to overview of your meetings. You can see there's no meeting scheduled for today. It shows any action items that are due. It'll even show a summary on the right along with the specific charts. Again, all in one easy to access navigation area. Now jumping right into it, obviously one of the big features is that you get to schedule meetings and notify participants. So under the schedule tab here, you can see you have new meetings. You have basically an overview of the meetings and you can go ahead and schedule a new meeting here. Now once this opens, it's going to give us the option to invite people. So you can invite people to join your group via Gminutes so that they can schedule meetings, share meeting minutes, action items, etc. So by inviting them, it's going to ask you to set up a new person here. So we can just put in some test information and you're going to want to put in a name, email, username. It's going to automatically generate them a password, which can be changed at login. Time zone, you can even give them access here if they are an admin for the group. And then you're going to want to assign them a group and role. So for example here, let's go ahead and fill out some test information. So as you can see here, when you get to the end, you have the option to add them to a new group. I can put, for example, marketing, hit OK. It'll automatically assign that group, and then we want to give them a role. So you can see here, it's going to give you an option, for example, manager, employer, developer. In this case, we'll put manager. And you can even change their specific permissions. So if they can add items, view the gaunt, uh, manage contacts, view the calendars, what specifically they can and cannot do. So for this case, we'll go ahead and give them all permissions. After that, we can hit create on the person. This will then add them into our inventory on the list. As you can see here, we have an overview of their information, when their account was created, the last connection. And from here, we can give some options, for example, to edit the person's information and or lock the person so nobody else can uh, configure their uh, contact information. Now that we have the person added, we can easily go into the schedule menu, hit that new meeting button, and now you'll see we have the object to set up the meeting according with that of when, where. We can even attach a link to a Google Doc. Uh, invite specific groups and other participants from our list here and of course add guests agenda items that may be talked about and you can also set reminders here so this is a really easy uh, system for you to set reminders you can set a general reminder to participants before the scheduled date whether it's hours before minutes before weeks before this gives again a good way to follow up on participants availability during the meeting and from here you can also schedule uh, log their minutes for scheduled or unscheduled meetings here so let's go ahead and fill all this out so you can see here after I've set all the meetings spe specifications, I can easily toggle things like, again, the reminder, even adding it to calendar, which allows you to add meetings to this, uh, Microsoft Outlook or Google Calendar if you use those services. Hit create. The meeting will then be logged in here, and you can see we get an overview of the meeting, and we even have the options here to edit it, view all the uh, permissions and all that. So for example, we can easily just edit it or reschedule it if need be, as well as delete the meeting if there's any issues that we need to cancel it. Now next up is minutes. So you can actually write minutes here and keep track of them. You can write them or read them. You can see here, same thing. You go into writing minutes here and you can set up the meeting, the subject, same information as before. But at the bottom here, we can see we have agenda items, meeting minutes, and other action items that we can all add and as well as decisions that have been made regarding specific things. Now once all of this is logged, again, the minutes here, we can easily just hit save and you can even send the minutes in the email body, save and send it or save and approve it. All of these allow, again, for users to track their agenda items, their meeting minutes, everything all in one place. So you can see here, it gives you an overview of the meeting summary, past meetings, canceled meetings. Again, you can put all of that information regarding the meeting and when it took place, as well as the participants, guests, etc., and then log everything that's relevant. And you can see you have a full featured text editor with um, options to format your text uh, regarding anything that in falls under these specific categories here. Next up, you can say that you have the ability to add action items. So things that need to be done via meetings or just in general here, you can give them titles. So for example, if there's anything that needs to be done, you can go ahead and have a title set here. So for example, uh, figure out budget, we can put there and we can even assign it to specific participants or employees. So in this case, we'll assign it to our marketing department. 
we can have a start date, date to be decided here, and the due date, and we'll hit assign. From here, it'll assign that action item, and you can see there it's automatically assigned to specific participant. And again, you can even add comments, set auto reminder for specific action items, because you can easily just click my action items here and see if there's anything assigned to you or if there's anything assigned to specific others here. So for example, if I apply a filter here, you can see I still have this status as open and we have the title here. We can click on it and see any information regarding said action item. Now going down, you also have your options here for messages. It has a full supported inbox system, so you can see your sent and read messages, all of that, and you can even compose messages to other people within the group, etc. You can see you also have your reports here, so this keeps all of your reports regarding meetings. You can uh, sort it out by date uh, between specific months to see how the meetings went and filter it down to get specific reports. You can even do it by groups, summary, or meeting summary, so what you talked about, the groups that attended, etc. Of course, you have a built-in calendar all online on the web. You can see this will display all information regarding meetings, anything that needs set in stone. Here you can simply click on it to get a preview of it and go through the day and see how the schedule looks and even go into a specific meeting here to get all regarded information, agenda, minutes, minutes change log, action items, decisions, participants, all of that good stuff. And of course, at the top, you also have your settings, which you can use to set auto-approve options on or off and the upgrade button, which allows you to check out the five plans here. You have the basic, which starts out as a free plan here, but you also have other pro plans that go up to specific things regarding, you know, how many meetings you're going to be having per month. So if your business is having over 100 meetings per month, then it may be relevant to you to check out the pro 100 plan. Again, this is all depending on your needs and your business's meeting environment. All in all, G Minutes 3.0 has a really great new interface. It's very sleek, very easy to go through. You can easily view your calendars, everything, charts, all online, and contacts can even be imported via a CSV file or that of their contacts import module. So it's very easy to get everybody in the business using G Minutes all in, invited, add them to groups, add them to their roles, uh, and then send out meetings that gets them all notified at the same time. Again, overall, this is a great way to manage your minutes and, and meetings at that. It gives you organization, it gives you time back, and that means more money for your business. So this is G Minutes. You can find it at gminutes.com.